gotta say, I built one nasty ass SRT4 in dedication to Lady in Red, Lexi built. Lady was the red and Lexi was the built. And you know everything inside is black. And Lexi was a big part of this channel. I wanna give you guys an update on why I haven't been uploading for the past year, so stay tuned. I gotta show you guys something and I uh, want to update you guys on why I haven't been uploading for the past almost year now I know it's not been a full year I've been doing some shorts here and there and I do have some content from when I was traveling back from California to Massachusetts West Coast to East Coast but uh, I've been doing a lot of travel videos so if you guys do not know about that channel uh, it's at far from home underscore less so at pretty much far from homeless because I'm not homeless you know I got a house right here that I live with my dad I don't really live here you know what I mean I I stop here once in a while and leave my stuff here and I have storage in Danvers but I'm pretty much a traveler you guys so that's why I made Skittle Fabs travels aka far from homeless underscore less so I'm working on my neon because the Ford Transit is at a, I could say it's a dealership because they do sell brand new Fords and Isuzu and stuff like that, but it doesn't look like a uh, dealership. It's uh, strictly uh, diesel trucks, pretty much. So that's in Milford, Connecticut. And uh, I'm working on my Neon getting it prepped because I'm gonna be using this for the rest of the week while it's at the dealership. And I wanna give you guys an update uh, on pretty much why I haven't been uploading and I, quit youtube but well, i didn't really quit youtube like i i'm still gonna make videos i still make videos on uh far from homeless but too i just had to get to it you guys i have a puddle of water in my my neon i'm assuming that it's leaking from this thing but the trunk has to get replaced and that gets drilled out in a few minutes let me pull this out see if i can and you guys can see it definitely was starting to mold up i had this moving blanket on top just for some covering but it still leaked so that's why I grabbed my father's drill right here with a 1 8 oh, I can go like this and it can start draining out when it's all said and done I'm gonna go ahead and clean up that metal again and put some black paint on it that way this doesn't happen again because I already got a drill hole there. It's working, I believe. And one right here. And I know that one's working. As you guys can see, it's dripping. But for those of you that don't follow me on Instagram, I haven't been uploading because um, pretty much after the van, Lexi started having some hip issues. You know, I, I didn't think much of it. Uh, you know, I was obviously tending to her, giving her all these different types of supplements to give her better joints and pretty much just watch her while she was walking and make sure she wasn't doing anything too strenuous. She also has some popping going on in the rear when she's walking. I just, just decided to do the van life and go see a bunch of things that were in California that uh, adventurers like I because clearly I drove this neon cross country. If you guys don't know, I have a bunch of videos on my playlist of me traveling from Massachusetts to Florida, Florida to Washington, Washington to California, and then I just started living the van life, you guys. So it's a 2015 Ford Transit 350 HD, fully converted into a house, and that's pretty much the lifestyle that I live now. Some of the best features when it comes to van life is I can go anywhere I want and open my door and have views like this because the neon uh, I don't feel like it's safe enough to drive cross country after having Caesar built work on my neon I'm pretty much getting this car cleaned up right now restocked because like I said earlier I'm gonna be living out of this or you know driving it to Connecticut 
for this week and then i'm gonna come back up here and most likely having to drive it back down there again so i'm just gonna be doing a little bit of maintenance on the vehicle i'm actually pulling this plywood out i'm gonna put this in the back of my father's house and i have the rear seat so i'm gonna put the rear seat back in i have the bolts i believe right there on lexi's stuff on this okay the reason why i made this video is because i was in the shower early getting ready to work on the neon and i know i've been neglecting you guys or this channel and whatnot and to my members my stage one stage two and stage three members so i appreciate you guys i really do and to anybody else that wants to member up and see those member only videos if you go to my main uh, youtube channel and you see the subscribe button and if it's already said subscribed right next to it is going to be a join button go ahead and join the membership only video part of my channel and you know i do it at a cheap price and someone just told me the other day they're like yo i just signed up for 4.99 per month and i believe you should definitely up that and you know your content's amazing and you know i really appreciate that yo i even talked to dude the other night on facetime helping him out with his caliber srt4 now i don't do the caliber stuff anymore you can clearly see i have the neon srt4 but the caliber is still part of the family so what i'm gonna do is check the air pressure i'm gonna check to see if there's any water in my oil overflow and then clean up the car put everything back in those are boxes that i haven't even unboxed yet to show you guys i've just been hoarding parts in here so let me get back up to you guys in a few minutes and i'll give you guys more of an update with lexi that's what it sounds like after a month of just sitting here i'm definitely gonna be playing with the exhaust and you see that that's all old uh, oil i left there i forgot to fucking clean up but what i'm gonna do real quick is uh, nothing in there i guarantee you when it warms up it'll start leaking but yeah i gotta clean this engine bay up you guys like i said it rained the other night but she's gonna start getting some work I promise you guys some new content is gonna be coming this year or beginning of next year for sure the dpw exhaust system box that i was looking for so i'm gonna go ahead and hook this up one of these days soon and that's the power cable the negative and the power go to my two posts that are on the stage three wire tug from kinetic creation check engine light is on obviously oh man i don't have my I gotta get my HP tuners and my Windows laptop in here. I gotta get that out of my Ford. Back to the whole uh, Lexi. So she started having some issues with her rear end. Oh, slow. Obviously, I brought it to the vet a few times. They said that she had. Uh, she has hip dysplasia, arthritis. Found out she has arthritis in her middle of our spine underneath it's regrowing marrow left hip and knee she has arthritis but she also has some popping going on in the rear when she's walking so i gave her uh hip supplements and pain meds she loved the pain meds i'm i'm telling you guys all the way up until we got here uh she she took the pain meds without even asking show everybody how well you take this medication oh good girl I didn't even have to ask her, I just showed her it and she knew what it was. I, so I didn't realize that she knew what those were. Like I I know that she probably felt better, but uh, we got back here. Lexi, hi. Are you happy to go see daddy? Are you gonna be happy to go see daddy? Daddy's waiting for you, yes he is. 
Can you say hi? Speak. Speak. Oh, you're such a good girl. Daddy, love you. I love you. Hey, you want to speak one more time? Hey, say hi. Speak. I did a bunch of work on the, the Ford Trans. I put a diesel heater uh, underneath the passenger seat and removed this. And ran heat into my cabin area where we live. Now we went down to Virginia and we were doing fine. It started to get really cold, so I left that diesel heater on with the windows open. That way she would stay warm in the van. She started having this cough issue. Okay. You okay? You okay? Oh. It's okay, baby. I brought her to the vet down there and they told me to do an x-ray and I was like, I just don't have the money for that. I'm pretty sure it's the kennel cough, so can you just go ahead and prescribe me something for that? Anyways, three days later, she started coughing again and it was to the point where I, I had to come back up here. Christmas is right, like that next week and I planned a visit to the doctors myself on, uh, I believe, Friday and that same day, Lexi had the vet appointment where I actually had her do the x-rays of her chest and it showed that her heart was um, over large and I didn't think much of it and I just made a joke saying, hey, you know, it's because I give her so much love that she has such a huge heart. And yeah, just on Christmas Eve, I brought ladies uh, ashes into the van in the driveway and that night, I believe, lady took Lexi. Well, I guess I should give you guys some clarification on pretty much what you guys just heard um, while Lexi was trying to breathe. It was her heart so enlarged that it was pressing on her lungs and the valves inside her heart were not closing properly, making saliva go into her lungs. And as she would breathe, it would bubble up and she would always try to hawk it up. And eventually it just took over. And for those of you that don't know what that is, it's called DCM. It's where it affects the heart in Dobermans and it enlarges it and takes her life. She was basically on her last limb. I brought her to the ER and since it was on Christmas, it cost a little bit more money, but yeah, I had to put her down. And I lost a lot of motivation throughout this whole time. So I'm trying to get back into it, you guys. The more you guys member up, the more ambitious I am to go ahead and like make these videos or just, sh you know, give me a shout out or something like that. Share my videos. Like I know I love what I do. And I know I make good videos, but my heart's torn, yo. It's Lady in Red, Lexi built both of my Dobermans. I made this, I built this car for them and now that they're gone, yeah, I need to enjoy it, but it's just hard. So in honor to them, I'm gonna start racing the car and just do it for them. So give me a like on this video, give me a comment, subscribe, stay notified. And if you wanna join the membership, dude, that's what's up, I appreciate you. And just stay tuned, yo, I'm sorry. Are you happy, hey pa? Yeah, I love you. All right, guys, be easy and stay tuned and subscribe to Skittle Fabs Travels. Peace.